All right, guys. So here we are again in this scenario, and uh, so imagine you got to face off against not one but two MiG 29s's, okay, with the dreaded A12, uh, and we're going to use the same exact tactic. Uh, we're going to launch at you know close to uh, maximum distance in that uh, high uh, high pulse uh, repetition frequency, or or that long distance non-maneuvering uh, range. And the only reason we're going to do that is to have the aircraft fight the missile. Once we do that, uh, we can close in and for the kill. Uh, so in TWS mode here, uh, this stands for track while scanning. The difference between this and RWS is RWS typically you're, you're gonna uh, track two targets at once. TWS will track whatever's in front of you and, and between these lines here, okay? Uh, and the way you switch between them is you just go TMS right, okay? And you can see it moving between the two targets there. If I look inside the HUD, uh, TMS right. I'm switching between two targets. You can barely see movement there, but one is at 29.6 miles right here, and the other one is at 27.3. So we want to engage the one that is uh, closer to us. So we're going to do the uh, 27.3 one first. All right. And remember, the jammer is your best friend. It's what's giving you the advantage in these scenarios. So as we approach uh, close to maximum range here, do a 10 degree up loft. Let's go ahead and launch. And let's go ahead and launch. And go back to the first one, TMS right. Or the closer one. So let's see what these guys do. They're obviously going to fight the missile they're turning away now. And we can keep switching between them. And let's launch when we get in a nicer distance here. And let's launch here. So now we can see which one explodes and then go after the other one in a short range missile mode. This one's going low. They're both fighting the missiles right now. Boom. Good hit on that one. Let's go to this one. And I think we got a hit on that one as well. Boom. All right. So uh, basically, that is how you implement uh, BVR tactics against a very formidable foe like the MiG-29S. Uh, so again, that first volley is, is uh, you're kind of lofting it up like an arrow and you, you'll get that 10 degree lofting cue. If you rewind the video, you'll see that. Uh, and then once they're fighting those missiles, you can close in for the kill either with, uh, uh, you know, Fox 3 short or medium, or you could even go uh, sidewinders and, uh, and do a Fox 2 or get guns on them. Uh, just keep watching both targets. They're generally going to move. Uh, they're going to hook right or left. Uh, or they're going to go up in the vertical. You know, just keep watching both targets. If you get a good hit on one of them, just go after the other one, uh, and and uh, you should have great success. So that's how to implement the AM120. Um, if you want more information, you know, I strongly recommend you read the uh, BMS training manual as well as the Dash 34, which goes into great uh, uh, depth about the capabilities of the AMRAM. Uh, as well as uh, a little section on tactics against MiG-29s. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys, I just want to show you what happens if you get in a close engagement with a MiG-29, and uh, just kind of show you his uh, the missiles there. That right there is the AA-11, also known, or Archer, also known as the R-73. Okay, the AA-11 uh, is a very highly maneuverable infrared missile it, it's all aspect it can it can um, hit your tailpipe it can you know detect you from a front angle so he can basically shoot at you head on all right um, it can fire up to 40 degrees off center line with helmet mount mounted queuing capability and it's it's pretty pretty uh, capable uh, and uh, comparable to the aim 9x okay uh, so very very deadly missile and I'll kind of show you what can happen.
it turned away from me for some reason. And there's the missile that just impacted us. So you can see where he is. He is uh, right in front of us and he just launched that uh, that archer off of his uh, left wing or his right wing and it impacted us head on. So very dangerous to fight uh, the archer head on. So that's why you don't want to be in a head-to-head -head engagement against a uh, MiG-29A or MiG-29S if you can help. Now if you get ambushed, obviously you got a tournament fight, uh, but it's a very deadly weapon. Alright, hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.